I want to leave you with one final thought. And it is that in almost any language, there are four letter words. So there's a four letter word in the language of coaching. Are you ready for it? The four letter word is accountability. So how could this be a four letter word? Well, because people have a love and hate relationship with accountability. When we are coaching folks, they come up with their ideas and they come up with their solutions and they say, here's what I'm going to implement and hopefully they've got commitment and excitement to go implement those things. And we help them with our great coaching. We say, so when are you going to implement that by? And they say, by next Tuesday, I'm going to have that conversation with that person. Now, we are not done. We are not done as coaches and as leaders. We have one more task and that is to follow up with people. We need to hold people accountable. And oftentimes, when I work with leaders, they say, but I should be done. They're adults. I've helped them figure out their action steps. We've come up with clear, clear deadlines and expectations, and my person is going to march off and do those things. And I am here to tell you, as a practicing coach, that when I coach leaders over time, and I might be in a conversation every three or four weeks with leaders, and every time they've committed to taking action, when do they follow up and actually deliver on those actions? It is the day before or the morning of the time that they're going to talk to me again. So what does that tell me? It doesn't tell me that they're a bad person that wasn't committed to the goal. It reinforces to me how important accountability is, how important it is that we follow up with people. I have a personal story around this. I need accountability so I can follow through on my own goals. A uh, when Jack Zenger and I were writing the book, The Extraordinary Coach, I knew that I needed support to get this done. Even though this was a dream I had and, and it was a clear goal I had and I'd had it for about three and a half years and yet I wasn't making any progress moving forward. So I enlisted a buddy of mine who happens to be a coach as well and I said, Lou, I need your help to hold me accountable to this goal. He said, how can I help? And I had started thinking a little bit about this, and I came up with a plan. I said, Lou, I'm on the hook to write 12 chapters. And so I am going to send you $300. And for those of you who are financially oriented, that's 25 bucks a chapter. And I said, and here's my outline. Every two weeks, by the 15th and the last day of the month, you're going to get a chapter from me. Two chapters a month until we're done. And he said, okay, and he was still listening. I said, and so when I send you the money, if I get my chapter done on time, you're going to send me $25 back for every chapter. He says, so just write you a check for 25 bucks? I said, no, 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 I want you to be more creative. Oh, give you a $25 Amazon gift certificate. It's like, no, 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 I want you to be more creative. And I want it to be a surprise, because I like surprises. So I knew I picked the right guy when he asked me the next question, which is, so what happens if you miss a deadline? And I said, I'm not going to miss a deadline. He said, no, seriously, what happens if you miss a deadline? I said, I don't know. He said, I'm keeping the $25. I'm donating it to a charity of my choosing. And I thought, well, that's, that's fair enough. And then I really knew I'd pick the right person when he said, so what happens if you miss two in a row? And by this time, I'm getting mad. I said, Lou, I'm not going to miss two in a row. He said, you're doubling down. You're sending me $300 more, and the stakes just got higher. It's like, oh, OK. Now, what was interesting is that this commitment I had and his follow-up absolutely propelled me to meet my goal. And you might be asking, did you ever miss a deadline? And I did. I missed two. It was never two in a row. So this notion of having accountability, having someone to hold you accountable, will help drive forward action. So we as leaders and coaches are not done just because we have a clear action plan. We need to stay on the hook to help our people meet their goals and ultimately realize the benefit and value of all of our hard work of coaching. So good luck, be great coaches, and we'll see you next time.